everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, this is truly an eight-point striker, DC, a Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick in the moment you start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. So Nothing to protect. Caution, flammable. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn how to improve himself. In the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 11 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Thiago Mahetka Santo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Griffin, the rules are locked now. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, be out So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like, whoa! An elbow! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, effective strike there by Nermago Medoff. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big kick land. And they separate. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! 
All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here, and I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land this beautiful ground and pound combination. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Nurmagomedov's going for the sub here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Habib the Eagle, well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the Thank win. you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was.